Next arc preview summary. At Goku's request, the Omni Kings Tournament of Power martial arts tournament between universe now begins. But this also proves the beginning of universal destruction. What awaits the victors of the tournament and the vanquished? How will these intense team battles between the aliens of each universe turns out? The next arc of Dragon Ball Super is going to be bigger than anything we have ever seen before. We will get a massive multi-universal survival tournament involving all 12 existing universes. DBS has been building this up ever since the beginning, the moment they mentioned there are 11 other universes we all knew something like this would eventually happen. Except none of us imagined the gods will decide to go so hardcore as the losing universes will get destroyed. Guys, this is not a fun martial arts tournament anymore. The fighters will fight for their lives and most importantly existence of their universes. The tournament was first explicitly mentioned at the end of U6 vs U7 tournament by the Omni King, but back then we had no idea about the consequences. Looks like Goku will end up becoming one of the main reasons for the destruction of existence. Toyotaro said the manga will jump ahead of the anime in the next arc. We also recently got the trailer of the next arc in Jump Fiesta. The trailer was made manga styled even though it's for the anime as the series is yet to start producing it and undoubtedly it's going to take a lot of effort as they are must introduce a whole set of new characters. Hell yeah! We are going to see 10 new gods of destruction. Imagine how hard it's going to be for them to introduce so many new characters. This arc has the potential to go down as one of the all-time bets. We have this picture of all the Guards of Destruction along with the Kaoshin as pairs. This looks like a snap from the anime but it's a fan art. Not a baseless fan art though, it's just a colored version of the manga scan we saw in the teaser or trailer of the Universal Survival Arc made by Dicasti on DeviantArt. Of course, the original looks might differ as the colors were given according to the artist's imagination. The coloring is done well but the choice of colors is a bit off. I think the picture is better. Basically, we have the God of Destruction and the Creation side by side as you know they are really well connected to the point of one's life being linked to the other. This shot from the trailer doesn't reveal much. Obviously, we can identify Beerus and Champa, but other than that, nothing much. We can see U7 and U6 Kaioshins though. Here's the green Kaioshin we saw earlier on the U6 vs U7 tournament. It's interesting to see all the gods going formal. It's like a god uniform. Gives the tournament a grand vibe. So the gods of destruction are wearing white cloaks while the Kaioshins are wearing darker, probably black cloaks. We see Champa and Beerus are brothers, many of the same species, but what about the other gods? The difference of shape is very apparent. I don't think all of them will have the same tones as that of Beerus or Champa, the only difference being their size and looks. That would be super weird. The giant one here caught everyone's attention. Could this be? Finally, the return of the legendary Super Saiyan Broly? No, JK. But whatever that is, I have my hopes high as we don't see too many giant sized powerful characters in DB, especially these days. So I hope we would have a top tier god of destruction in terms of power and strength. Thanks to Goku. In this tournament, we have two Omni Kings. This is one thing that bothers me. Will it always stay this way? 
2 Omni King does seem a lot weird. Do you think there's a minute possibly that something might happen to one of the Omnis? And at the end, we'll have only one Omni King in this original timeline multiverse. Also, we explained how even the smallest of change due to time traveling can change the course of history. So what about this one? Omni King is like the biggest deal ever. And he is here living in a place he wasn't supposed to be in. That's one of the many things I'm looking forward to know about. Okay, now let's take a look at our very own squad. So we have a 10 man team. This is going to be interesting. It is hinted that the tournament will have team battles instead of one on one. That sounds quite reasonable given there are 12 universes and if each universe has 10 fighters, one on one would take forever to finish. Given the number of fighters, I think 2 vs 2 or 5 vs 5 team battles would be perfect and at the same time would be very refreshing. But then again, who knows, Toriyama might do something crazy and give us a 10 vs 10 battles. We don't know for sure but this could possibly be the stadium or stage for the tournament. What will be the stipulations? The team to get all fighters knocked out first loses or do you think there would be an entirely different format? Maybe like a Royal Rumble? Remember Bojack Unbound movie? There's this poll in the middle, what could that be for though? Let me know your predictions and theories in the comment section below. Anyways, back to the U7 Warrior Squad, we have the obvious fighters, that is everyone that was selected for the last tournament, Goku, Vegeta, Piccolo and Majin Buu. Then the two biggest surprises, Gohan and Android 17. Gohan of course is in his ultimate form look and it looks like he trained. It will be interesting to see what motivates Gohan to change his track and fight in the tournament. The next arc will start on the manga first and then on the anime series. That is, we will all have to wait till February. Until then, we will have in between the arc types of episode that will build up for the next arc. In these episodes, they might highlight the story behind the Universe 7 team. We might have a few episodes centered around Gohan like the next Dragon Ball Super episode 73 is going to feature Gohan, there's going to be a Simon movie and Gohan will be around there as a stuntman. I think it will be basically be a fun episode but like this they might slowly move towards a solid story. As we know the multi-universal tournament won't be a fun and chill stuff as the losing universes will be annihilated. So this might be the exact reason Gohan finally decides to fight as he has to save his loved ones. In fact, the title of the Dragon Ball Super episode 74 is for the sake of who he loves. Maybe that could be a Gohan episode where we see him getting ready to fight. Anyways, what do you think Gohan should train with, Whis or Piccolo? On the other hand, we haven't seen Android 17 after the Cell Saga, he was shown in a well-known fan series DBGT and had obtained a new form. But back to the official story, what do you think will be the story behind Android 17? I think they should slip in at least one episode where we will find out 17 and we'll get some details about him. It would be interesting to see how 18 and 17 reacts after all this time and in these circumstances. I'm extremely satisfied with the human Z fighters being in the squad. We all know how much I love those classic fighters and they didn't get spotlight in a long time. So them being in the tournament is one of the best decisions DBS has ever taken. Many fans were saying it would be better if they took Gohan and Trunks instead but I think that would ruin everything. The two lead fighters are Saiyans, even in the last arc, all three of the fighters were Saiyans. Why would you want more Saiyans? That would be repetitive AF. Now this team has a lot of variation. I understand 
different people have different tastes but I love the seriousness in Dragon Ball. Goten and Trunks doesn't look nearly as serious as for example Tien. Honestly, I think Roshi, Tien and Krillin are better as characters than Goten and Trunks. Also, Master Roshi is one guy who deserves to be in action even in Z. He is only getting the respect he always deserved. I'm 100% happy to see Roshi in the squad. It's almost like the exact team I would make if I were in charge. To me, variation is more important than raw power. Well, that's about well. Comment your theories and predictions about the next arc down below. Note that the fan guy is a bit sick, so I just did this video for him. See you in the next Dragon Ball video.